Hey everyone, BDZB Comics here, and today I'm gonna be hopping on a trend. Uh, Markiplier did the whole Pokemon Smasher Pass thing, and that really took off with a lot of different people, uh, a lot of different streamers and whatnot doing Pokemon Smasher Pass, but I think that this is an area where we can expand a bit to other franchises, and obviously a pretty good uh, franchise to branch off to is Digimon. I got my pal Terriermon here. He's my favorite. Um, unfortunately, the thing about Digimon is there are literally over a thousand of them, um, and there is a Digimon reference book that has all of them listed out, but unlike the... Pokemon website, where it has the Pokedex and you can just navigate to the next one, there isn't a number order for Digimon normally, but fortunately, there are numbered lists of Digimon in Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory, which are some of the most popular Digimon games, and, you know, this is maybe a third of all Digimon. You have 341 here, which is still a pretty good representation, I'd say. It's got most of the iconic ones. Because the games came out, you know, before the 2020s, like, there's not anything from Ghost Game, not anything that debuted in um, Digimon Adventure 2020, um, not even anything from Try in here, although Try didn't introduce that many new Digimon. So, you know, that said, if people want me to do another one of these with newer Digimon or with Digimon that just aren't covered by this, because there are some notable omissions even from, like, back before these games came out. Uh, let me know, and I'll do them. But anyway, let's get right into this. This is actually my second time recording this. The first time, um, I set up the screen recording without any audio. So I recorded an hour, and none of it was usable, so... Anyway, so starting off here, the interesting thing here, too, is that unlike the Pokedex, which does them in, like, evolution line order, this does it in evolution level order, uh, just because there are so many potential evolution paths for most Digimon. There isn't really a set way to do it, like, you know, the, the Pikachu evolves into Raichu path. You kind of have to... Make it more open than that. So we're going to start off with all the little babies, and Kuramon is a pass. Papamon's a pass. Punimon's a pass. Bodamon's a pass. Spoilers, uh, I, I don't think there are going to be very many smashes for a while. I'm, I'm not interested in fucking any of these little babies. Poyomon's a pass. Arcadiamon is a pass. Koromon's a pass. Tanamon is a little more femme, but a pass. Sunamon's really cool, but a pass. Sumemon is... I mean, it can grip on with its weird little, like, hand feet there. Uh, but it's a pass. Tokomon, probably the most smashable one so far, just because, look at the way that it, like, unhinges its jaw. It can stretch out and wrap around just about anything. Uh, but that said, also look at those teeth. Uh, I'm going to pass. Nyaromon is cute. Um... I might go Shane Dawson later in this video. Uh, I'm not going Shane Dawson yet, though. I'm going to pass. Pagumon's a devious little fucker. Um, I am going to pass, though. Yokomon's cute, but do I want to put my dick in it? No, I don't. I'm going to pass. Bukamon, uh, I love this whole evolution line, um, but not in a sexual way. Uh, and actually, Bukamon is probably my 
least favorite member of this Digivolution line, so I'm going to pass. Modimon is adorable, but pass. Wanyamon, again, I, I'm not going Shane Dawson mode yet. I'm going to pass. Agumon, we're getting into the rookies now. Um, these are going to start getting more fuckable, but I'm still going to pass. And they have a bunch of these color variants. You know, now that it's black, it's a virus type, which mm, I, I don't I don't know, know if I like the implications of that. Uh, but, like, yeah, they have a bunch of ones where, like, the only difference is a change of color. And basically, like... If it's just a color change, that's not really going to influence me one way or the other. With very rare exceptions, changing the color of a Digimon does not make it more or less fuckable in my eyes. So this is a pass. Arcadiamon Rookie is very... it's very fleshy. Um, it looks like it would be very sensitive, uh, but... Pass. Armadillomon, pass. Impmon, um, a another dubious little creature causing mischief. Yeah, there... Impmon has potential, but he hasn't reached that potential yet. I'm going to pass. And, um, Lachmon's a pass. Otamamon, also a pass. Gaumon's really cool. And it's a little more humanoid, but pass. Gazimon is also a devious fucker. That smirk. I know some people that would be into Gazimon, I think, but uh, pass. Gabumon is a pass. Gabumon's such a weird design. Um, for those of you not in the know... Uh, Gabumon isn't actually, like, a dog-like creature. It's m more of a lizard creature, and it's just wearing, like, a dog's pelt over its lizard body. But then it digivolves into dog creatures, so I, I don't really know how that works, but, but pass. And again, just changing the color doesn't really change my opinion. Pass. Uh, Gilmon is definitely more humanoid. Um, definitely getting taller, um, but, like, also in Digimon Tamers, it's, like, such a baby, and the talk flat verse, which, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to deal with. I'm gonna pass. And now we have Kudamon, which, uh... You know, it's very long and slender. It uh, could, could easily wrap itself around uh, certain things. Um, it's got the bedroom eyes. It's blinged out, you know, with its, uh, with its jewelry on there. It's, it's rings around. Uh, status symbol. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, accumulates holy power. Cool and collected person. I'm smashing. I'm smashing. I'm sorry. I gotta start somewhere. Let's start with Kudamon. Karamon, though, I really like Karamon, like, design-wise, but no. Definitely not smashing that. I'm gonna pass. Gatsumon is made of rock. Um, even if the face was super cute. I mean, it's cute, but, like, in an ugly way. Even if the face was, like, super cute, um, I probably would not because, uh, you know, that would, that would damage me to, uh, it does have rock fist, though, but, like, no, I, I can't. I'm gonna pass. And the other thing about Gatsumon is you'll see in a little bit, like, this is one of those designs that, uh, I guess Namco, Bandai, Toei just really fucking loved, uh, because, <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of little rock dudes you're about to see. 
Goblimon. Again, I feel like I know some people that would be into this, but I'm going to pass. Gomamon is my boy. Um, he is so fun in the anime. His dynamic with Joe is incredible, uh, but pass. This one, um, there are some obvious jokes to be made about um, certain female genitalia. However, uh, pass. Zubamon is a pass. Solarmon is full of gears. Um, that and and it's metallic, just you know, kind of a similar thing to Gatsumon earlier. Um, except I feel like it might be even worse. Uh, so pass. Yeah, I I wouldn't. No, <laughs> that's a pass. Oh, oh, hey, it's you! It's you! Look! Look at Terriermon! Um, you're my favorite Digimon, but not in that way. Um, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I just want to let you know that, like, you're a good Digimon, but uh, I'm probably not going to smash any of your Digivolutions either. Uh, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, Tentomon here is a pass. Toyagumon, I mean, you know the whole thing about, like, stepping on a Lego? Uh... Yeah, I don't want to fuck a being made entirely out of Legos. Um, that is a pass. Drachmon, design-wise, is very cool. Uh, but it's got fucking eyeballs on its hands. Um, and it looks like in its belly button, too? What's going on there? Um, yeah, that's a pass. Drachmon is cute, but not in that way. Pass. Doramon, eh, pass. Agurumon, same thing as Solarmon, pass. Now, Panamon does have the um, extendable jaw like Tokomon has, and it doesn't have the teeth, but it is just like a flying hamster, um, so I'm going to pass. Pac-Mon's cool, but pass. Palmon, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Not yet, uh, but, you know, this one has potential. Pass, though. Demi Devimon, pass. Biomon, it's just a bird. I mean, it's a very feminine bird, uh, but pass. Falcomon, also pass. Fanbeamon, pass. Beamon is a pass. This one, it... It is just a dog, but it's got those big eyes, and it's got the bling, and I know what it digivolves into, so part of me is tempted to say Smash for this one, but it is just a dog. Yeah, Digimon Child known, yeah, while still young, yeah, no, 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 this is, this is bad vibes, I'm gonna pass. Betamon, more like beta cuck, am I right? I'm gonna pass. Uh, Hawkmon's a pass. Mushroommon looks like it would fuck me up. Uh, it could get me high, but I'm gonna pass. Monodramon is a pass. Lalamon is another one that has like potential later on. But right now, it looks like one of those fucking um, 
things that you... It looks like one of those gyroids from Animal Crossing. Like, I'm not fucking that. It does have a move called Seed Blast, but no, I'm going to pass. Um, so this is Rookie Lusamon. And while it does have, like, kind of this whole angelic thing that I'm into, um, it's also very much a child, so I'm going to pass. Lunamon, kind of similar thing where um, there are some aesthetic things that I like about Lunamon, but it's also just like super babby mode, so I'm going to pass. But you know who ain't babby mode. You know who uh, awakened a lot of things and a lot of children. Renamon here. I think I have to smash. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, I know she's your friend, but, like, come on. Like, have, you've thought about it, right? I think you've thought about it. Anyway, um, let's go on to the next one. Watmon. Oh, yeah, an another, <laughs> another one that's very close to you. Um, yeah... Like, it's basically just a recolor of Terriermon. Um, and so that's a pass. Like, I I like both you and your sister's Digivolution lines, but, but just, like, not in that way. Uh, so, pass. Okay. I'm appearing in a Smasher Pass, aren't I? Ken, you really should be doing other things with your time. You shouldn't be watching streamers. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love Wormon's voice, uh, but I don't love Wormon's body, so I'm going to pass. Now, Ice Devimon here. Um, you know, obviously there are some things about Devimon that are very appealing. Um, you know, this just, like, dark um, emperor that, like, was the big bad of the first arc of the first season of Digimon ruling over parts of the digital world, blah, 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 you know, sending out black gears, corrupting Digimon to become evil. Like, that's all cool. Ice Devimon is, um, like, voiced in the dub. For some reason, they give him a Christopher Walken voice. Um, and I think that's really funny. So combine that with everything about regular Devimon, and I think that's a smash. Now, Icemon, see, here we go. Here's another Gatsumon. Yeah, that's a pass. You can't fool me, Digimon. This is not a different Digimon. And it's champion level, or as Gatsumon was rookie level. It's like, this is not an evolution. I don't care if, like, technically you can evolve Gatsumon into this in the game. I do not consider this an evolution. It's the exact same fucking thing, just in a different color. But you're not going to see the last of that. Aquilomon's a pass. Agunimon's a Chad, but pass. Arcadiamon, champion... Has like a vagina on its face. Uh, but I don't like the rest of what's going on, so I'm gonna pass. Ankylomon's a pass. Ikakumon, great Digimon, excellent Digimon, but pass. Wizardmon's a pass. Could probably do some fun magic stuff, but like, eh. Lobomon. That jawline, that armor, that stance. I know that in Digimon Frontier, um, Lobomon comes about because, like, a child absorbed his spirit, and then that child turns into Lobomon. But that's... There were Lobomon before... Um, what, what's his name? Koichi's the brother. Um... I can't remember. Koji. I think Koji. Yeah, there were Lobomon before Koji, and they weren't literal children that transformed. Um, so, and 
Koji's not in Cyber Sleuth or Hacker's Memory, so it's fine. Um, I can say smash on Lobomon without any sort of weird accusations coming my way. I will smash. Now, there's an obvious joke to be had here, but in spite of that, I'm going to pass. Uh, pass. XVMon is a pass. Angemon, though? You know. Uh, we're fucking an angel here. An angel with a rock and bod. Uh, I think... I think that's a smash. Ogremon. I feel like if you want to be, like, dominated... Ogremon is the is the mon for you, but it's not the mon for me. I'm gonna pass. Gardermon, just a big fat robot, is a pass. And he gets blinged out, that makes him slightly more fuckable. But uh yeah, no. Uh still a pass for me. Galgamon, cool design, but pass. Kabuterimon is a pass. The new Amons are funny. Um, it would be tempting to say smash. What if its attack is called mature poop? <laughs> That's kind of incredible. Uh, but it would be funny to smash, but I'm going to pass. Oh, hey. What do we have here? Is Gargomon. Look, you're all grown up. You're all grown up. You, I love Gargomon. It's a really fun evolution uh, for Terriermon, but still not Smash worthy. I am going to pass. Garurumon is just a big dog. I'm going to pass. Garurumon Black is just a big black dog. I'm going to pass. Cubimon. So it's interesting to me that Renamon starts out like smashable. And then for the next couple phases of Digivolution, gets progressively less smashable. And then when you get to the Mega form, they're suddenly super smashable again. Um. Cubimon is okay. I'm gonna give, like, a tentative smash. Um, because it has kind of that, like, Ninetales... Like, I know that Ninetales and Cubimon are based off of the same thing. It has that energy, and I know that Ninetales is a very popular Pokemon to smash when YouTubers do their Pokemon Smasher pass. Um, and, you know, it has Mystic Powers and stuff. Like, I, th I think it would still be a fun time, but, uh, yeah. Doesn't quite do it for me. Quite as much as uh, its pre-evolution. And Growlmon, it still has this voice. I, I can't get beyond that, so I'm gonna pass. Uh, this is bizarre. I'm gonna pass. Greymon, classic, but pass. Blue Greymon, not quite as classic, pass. Clockmon, more like suck my Cockmon is a pass. Kuragamon, don't want that anywhere near my penis. I'm going to pass. Geckomon, same, honestly. Pass. <laughs> For different reasons, but pass, yeah. That tongue, though. Yeah, but one of its abilities is hyper smell. I'm going to pass. Cordramon is a pass. Cordramon, if you change colors, believe it or not, it's still a pass. Gold Numamon um, is a pass. Golamon, pass. Pass. I don't even know what this is. Pass. Sunflowmon. Getting a little warmer. 
uh, getting a little warmer um, than, than Lalamon was, but it's still like a weird sunflower Muppet, so I will pass. Seedramon, it has that long slender body, but I'm not about the like, the sharp teeth and the fish mouth. I'm going to pass. For what it's worth, Mipha and Breath of the Wild didn't really do much for me either. Um, Silamon is disgusting. I'm going to pass. Geogramon, cool, but pass. <clears throat> Sukamon, more like Sukamon these nuts. Um, but it's a poop that has an attack that is also called poop. So I will pass. Starmon is a pass, but not a strong pass. Like, if I, you know, if I had to fuck a Starmon for whatever reason, I'd do it. Wouldn't be the worst thing, but, but pass. Stingmon. Um, I mean, I know it's an insect, but, like, as far as insects go, he's pretty cut, and his face isn't, like, disgusting or anything. Uh, of the... Insectoid Digimon that are in Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory, which there are some notable omissions, like Aru Kenimon isn't in Hacker's Memory or Cyber Sleuth. Uh, but of the ones that are here, this is definitely the most fuckable. And you know what? Yeah, I'll smash. Why not? Why not, right? Uh, Strike Dramon is a pass. Don't know what the fuck that is. I'll pass. Sorcery Mon is a pass. Tank Mon is also a pass. I don't want to fuck your poop, Snowman. I will pass. So, did you know that uh, the actor who played Barney the Dinosaur is a tantric uh, sex expert? A tantric sex uh, therapist. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. I'll correct it if I'm using the wrong word. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's a real thing. Um, so yeah, I will. I want to see what Barney do. I will smash. Gatomon. She might not look like much here. But uh, if you watch the anime, she is very feisty, and also I know what she digivolves into. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash. Devimon is very cool, um, and <laughs> logically, I feel like regular Devimon is more fuckable than Ice Devimon, but. I can't meme on regular Devimon as hard, so I'm going to pass. Oh! It's another one of these guys, um, but it's it's got your face. Like, it's got like a more humanoid body, but it's got this face. Which, you have a very cute face, don't get me wrong, but like, that's a pass. I do wish my audio didn't mess up earlier, because you're not getting the initial reactions to these. You're getting uh, my second take reactions. Anyway, uh, pass on Togemon. Uh, it would be funny to uh, say Smash, but pass. Drugamon's pass. Nanimon would be funny to say Smash to, especially after the 2020 anime where there's that whole scene where there's just, like, a million Nanimon, like, in the hot springs with Joe and Gomamon, and they're just, like, surrounding them. You know, there's there's some fun hypotheticals one could have with Nanimon. Also, the fact that um, he, like, drinks super heavily, um, and he has a move called Poop Dunk. Like, also the fact that he used to be a Tamagotchi, and he crossed over to the Digimon universe. That is canon, and you can look that up. Um, but, pass. Numamon's a pass. 
Bergamon has those teeth. Pass. Pass. Bakamon, lose your power. Bakamon, lose your power. Bakamon, lose your power. Bakamon, lose your power. If you don't know Digimon, you're not going to get that reference. But uh, that's a pass. Uh, it's a pass. Hootimon. Um, that's one that I saw for the first time when doing this earlier. I never beat Hacker's Memory. Um, I knew of Hootimon, but I, I, did, I never uh, noticed uh, this, this form here. Uh, that's a smash. The face weirds me out a little, but that's a smash. Uh, Platinum Supamon. It's got the rare metal poop. Uh, but it's still a pass. Black Gatomon. It's got those yellow eyes. Uh, you know, very, uh, very interesting. I kind of wish they changed the color in the ears. It just doesn't, like, fit with the rest of the color scheme very well. Um, if they took, like, the red from the gloves and made those, like, the inner ear color. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, it's still a smash. Vegemon is one of the few instances where if their recolor was in this, like, Dex, I would probably smash just because uh, they have a green, an entirely green recolor called Weedmon. And, like, look at this shape on the top of its head. They knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, but as is, I'm going to say pass. Peckmon is more like Passmon, if I write. That, that one's not good. Uh, pass. Uh, Marimon, I don't know how I would even, so pass. Monochromon, pass. Frigimon, I think less gross than its mud variant, but still pass. Unimon is a pass. Cool visor, though. Um, Raptor, Dramon, pass. Raremon, um, kind of like the uh, Digimon equivalent of uh, Alolan Muck here, um, where, like, you can slip it in really easily, and I would probably feel good, but also, um, it's a being made of poison, uh, so it's not good for you. I'm gonna pass. Leomon, one of the original Chads of the Digimon universe. He is so ripped. He's got a signature attack called Feast, Fist of the Beast King. Yeah, I think that this is a smash. Lekismon. Those hips. Smash. Repamon is a pass, though. As is Waspmon. As is Mega Kabuterimon. As is Arcadiamon Ultimate. These Arcadiamons are very disturbing. Antilamon. Yeah, Antilamon is the um, most smashable. Of the like Terriermon related Digimon, I would say, but also it's still like it's still got a rabbit face and those super like long arms just don't really do much for me, so I'm going to pass. Andermon's a pass. This is fucking ridiculous. This thing is now ultimate level and it hasn't changed form at all. It just changed color again. It's shiny now. Ooh. Pass. Infermon, the face is hilarious, but I'm going to pass. Myotismon, you know what? Lives in a big castle, um, has vampiric powers. He's, he's got the drip, pretty handsome. Say smash. That's a pass, though. And that's a pass. Although, it does have the attack that we could all use right now. The 
Corona Blaster. Gotta, I don't know if I'll be demonetized for saying that. We'll see. Well, I guess I'm not making money off of videos anyway, but if I were, I might be demonetized. Um, Aerobimon, that's a pass. Edamon is funny and cool, and I like him a lot. Um, and a small part of me wants to say Smash, but I'm going to pass. This one, though, like, this is one of the OG waifus. Uh, I'm going to Smash. Akuamon, that is a pass. By the way, I'll, uh, I'll leave in the description the link to... Um, this whole, like, Dex, if you want to do it for yourself. Garudamon is very cool, but I will pass. Kendo Garurumon is a pass. Kudramon's a pass. Catch Mamimon is a pass. Um, this one's interesting, because nothing about, like, the lower half of its body is appealing to me, but this, like, they explored this area in uh, the Digimon Adventure 2020 anime, and um, there's, like, whole colonies of its smaller forms inside of here. Um, so there's, there's some fun um, possibilities for hypotheticals in there. Um, just the idea of this thing being huge. Um, but I am going to pass. Groundermon's a pass. Very cool, though. Grappleomon, I think, is a downgrade from Leomon. Like, I think it's just kind of doing too much. Um, it does have the King of Fists as its signature attack, but I am going to pass. Grade Mon. If I had to give you a grade, I'd give you a, I'd give you a C, um, I guess. C for could be something that I smash, but not today. Pass. Cressmon though. Cyberdramon, its whole thing in Tamers is how it's like a wild, savage beast that can't be controlled. Uh, and I don't want to deal with all that, so I'm going to pass. I know some people would really like that, but not me. Um, that's a pass. We've got Wispy Woods here. Um, I'm going to pass on him. That's a pass. Even though half of it is got Omon, still pass. Superstar Mon is cool. But pass. Uh, I'm going to bone Scald Greymon. No, no, I can do it for the joke, but but no, that is a that is a pass. And I'm going to skull fuck Skull say it. No, 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 I'm going to pass. Zunomon is cool. Very cool. Uh, one of my favorites, in fact. But pass. Xavier Huckmon. Uh, Taumon, see what I mean? Like, this is technically more humanoid than Cubimon, but, like, doesn't really do anything for me. I'm going to pass. There is uh, interesting fan fiction potential with, uh, with this Dragomon here. Interesting fan art potential. But pass. Um, Shirenmon's very cool, very regal, but pass. Um, Hell Masquerade is its signature attack. Uh, I'm gonna pass. So, Digitamamon is interesting, because, um, you don't really know what's inside the egg, and part of that is kind of appealing to me, but also... It's a, it's a short little dude with, like, monster legs, um, and 
yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's even possible that the thing that comes out of that is attractive. So I'm going to pass. Part of me wants to say smash. I mean, the, the whips and the chains and the, the fire, but less fire than its pre-evolved form. Like, it's, it's definitely, like, there's, there's some potential there, but also it's got a robot face. And I don't know if I can get past that, so I'm going to pass. Duramon. Incredibly durable, but also um, it's going to have to test its durability somewhere else. I'm going to pass. Would be funny, but pass. Pass going on with your eyes, dude? This guy's seen some shit. Tori Greenmon is loading. Okay. Honestly, honestly, it's got, it's given me those dragon from Shrek vibes. And I mean, it's kind of blinged out a little. It's got the slender thing that I'm kind of into. Yeah, you know what? I will smash. Got Nightmon here. Um, Nightmon, you really don't know what's in that armor. And that, that can be sexy, but it's also just like... Like, I, I looked for it earlier. There are not any pictures of Nightmon with the helmet off. So you don't know what you're getting. I'm going to say pass. Bizarre that this thing is ultimate level. Uh, that notwithstanding, though, pass. That's a pass. You, you, take, uh, you take an already smashable Digimon and give them the Fist of Ice ability and turn them into more of a Silver Fox... Make them, make them a little more daddy. Uh, yeah, that is a smash right there. Panama's cool, but animal male. Uh, pass. Pumpkinmon is one of those that I don't understand why they're ultimate level. Like, they're best friends with Gatsumon in Digimon Adventure. I assume that they were both rookies. Um, turns out this thing is two full evolution levels above its best friend. Um, anyway, I'm going to pass. Piximon. Piximon's very cute, but not in that way. Pass. 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 <laughs> that thing can give me a mustache ride. Uh, no. It is a king, though. It is high status, but no, I will pass. Blue Marimon, again, how would I even? Pass. Nope. Uh, one of its attacks is Unidentified Flying Kiss, uh, which, you know, uh, like, if you're into this... They can give good smooches, apparently, but, uh, I will pass. Um, Waymon is not attractive to me. It is a power move to, like, try and smash something whale-sized, uh, but I will pass. Magna Angemon is a little bit more busy than regular Angemon, but... Like, still, the whole angelic element to it is, uh, kind of hot. You know? It's, it's a little more biblically accurate, Angel, too. Uh, I will smash. Pokemon is a mega Chad, but, uh, I'm gonna pass. I don't know what's going on here. I will pass. Uh, <laughs> this guy's whole vibe is incredible. Uh, one of his attacks is winning Knuckle, um, but I'm still going to pass. Mamaimon is pass. 
Mega Sudramon is pass. Mega Dramon is pass. I think it's weird that I think yeah, we saw Giga Dramon earlier, now we're on Mega Mega Dramon. Like, I think they're different evolution levels. Shouldn't Giga be bigger than Mega? Like that's that's how megabytes and gigabytes work. Uh, whatever though, I will pass. War Growlmon, nope, pass. Metal Greymon, pass. Blue Metal Greymon, this changes everything, uh, pass. Uh, Metal Tyranimon, pass. Metal Mamemon, I got all the Metal Boys, pass. Monzemon, uh, it would be a good for cuddling. Um, it's got that sleepy energy, but I will pass. Chromon, more like Nomon, pass. Rise Greymon is a pass. Lilamon's definitely a smash, though. Definitely a smash. Uh, Rapidmon. It's still a pass, I'm sorry. Um... Lilymon. That's a smash right there. Lusamon fall down mode. Definitely most smashable Lusamon. Um, I will smash. Lady Devimon, I would also smash. And we're Garumon. Uh, it's got a dog face, which. Not crazy about that, necessarily. Um, it's got, but, like, I don't know, the body and the jeans. I I think the dog face is too much. I'll pass. And uh, making it, like... Does, does it make it better in this case? I do think it's a better looking color scheme uh, for this particular Digimon. If I imagine that it's like a king from Tekken situation where he just has like a very realistic um, animal mask on, but he is just a normal dude, um, just a normal muscular dude, um, then that makes it a little better. Um, and Digimon and Tekken, uh, they have crossed over before their games are made by the same company. Um, so it's plausible. Smash. Uh... <laughs> Okay, uh, Wisemon, though, is a pass. Um, I will pass. Now, Alphamon is an immediate smash. Um, and looking at them, you might wonder why, because, like, you know, there's nothing... At least to me, there's nothing inherently fuckable about Alphamon design-wise. But, if you have played Digimon Adventure Cyber Sleuth all the way through, uh, there is a very good reason why Alphamon is smashable. Um, I won't elaborate on that, but there is... I feel like most people who have played all the way through Cyber Sleuth and are, yeah, have, have a certain type of taste, uh, would with Alphamon. Uh, I will smash. Old Forest Vidramon connected to a character that I would smash, um, not just the Alphamon character, but, uh, like, the uh, tamer of Old Force Vidramon in Cyber Sleuth um, is a smashable character, I would say. Uh, but Old Force Vidramon by itself is not one to me specifically. Um, interesting, but no, I will pass.
pass. Hit up their DMs. Uh, I think that stands for Dragon Mode. I think this one stands for Fighter Mode. Um, yeah. I will pass. Vicomon, very cool, but I'm not fucking a walrus. I will pass. Valkyriemon, eh. Like, like, there's probably a decently handsome man under there. But, like, I don't know. A little vanilla for me, I think. Um, I will pass. Pass. Venomiotismon. Some people might think that uh, Venomiotismon is more fuckable than regular Myotismon. Uh, I worry about those people's psyches. Uh, I am going to pass. Wargreymon, I will smash for clout. Um, I think Wargreymon was kind of like the Charizard of the Digimon franchise, or maybe better yet, like the Mewtwo, in that, like, they're the super powerful one that everyone, like, on the playground talks about, and it gets them hyped. Um, so I want to, like, you know, stick it to all of the, the kids on the playground from back in the day and be like, yeah, you might have you might have raised up a War Greymon. You might have thought that War Greymon was really cool in the anime. I fucked a War Greymon. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna smash. That's a smash, for sure. That's really cool, but it's a pass. Also pretty cool, but a pass. Um, also pretty cool. But a pass. All right, I'm gonna be repeating myself a lot. Uh, pass. Destroyed hook. It's a weird attack name. Uh, Gankumon is a, is super Chad. Wait, Quake Blast Fire Father <laughs> Table Flip. Oh, these are bizarre attack names. Uh, but yeah, this this is this is a Mega Chad. This is a Giga Chad. I am going to. And speaking of Giga Chads, I don't know if there's a bigger one than King Edamon. I am going to smash. Oh, actually, there is one. I'll get to him when I get to him. Uh, I'm going to smash. Renamon is back to being smashable, thank God. Um, don't want my penis anywhere near this thing. I will pass. I will pass. I will pass. I will pass. I'll pass. Pass. Oh, that's also one of your relatives, I guess. Yeah. And now we're going to see the good version of that relative. Um, very funny looking, but a pass. Um, like funny in a good way. This one, I will smash because not only are they cut, but they're like, their uh, Japanese name is God Dramon. Um, yeah, and their signature attack is called God Flame. Like, this is like the ultimate clout smash. Uh, more so than, than any, like, king. More so than any, like, famous Digimon, like, Wargreymon. Like, this is, this is hella clout for days. Um, you know, people might start worshipping me for smashing this thing. You never know. Smash. Uh, Saber Leomon. Leomon is very smashable. Uh, Saber Leomon, not so much. Very cool, but I'll pass. And, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely smash. Do you take me for a fucking idiot? Yeah, smash. Um, that's a pass. That is a pass. Its birth mode is also a pass. This one, you could make a case for Smash. I personally wouldn't. Um, it is a muscular dude, but like I think it's cool, but it, it just doesn't do that much for me. But if you were to Smash, I wouldn't blame you. I'll pass, though. Uh, Kentoros Mon, that's a pass. Uh, very cool, but that's a pass. Seraphimon, 
Like, I fucked its two pre-evolutions, but Seraphimon, uh, every time it comes out in the anime, it kind of gets, like, bodied immediately. Uh, it got bodied in, um, Hurricane Touchdown, and it got bodied in Digimon Frontier. Like, it seems to be significantly weaker than its pre-evolutions, uh, which is very strange. Um, also, it has the whole armor thing. You don't know what's under there. I will pass. Oh, hey! It's your mega form! Whoa! Cool! Look at that! Uh, probably... Yeah. Probably the most, I guess, smashable of your direct like, main Digivolutions, um, not, like, because I think Cherubimon, yeah, that's, that's more of a, a Lopmon family evolution, um, but still, pass. Darkramon is a pass, Tiger Vespamon, pass, oh, oh. Titanmon, ah, uh, <laughs> You're, okay, I said earlier that Ogremon would give you that domination experience. Uh, I forgot about this guy. If you're into that, good for you. For me, I mean, this guy's got an eyeball on his crotch. Uh, I'm going to pass. That's cool, but I'll pass. Obviously. Obviously, Smash. That's gonna read me Goodnight Moon before bed. This would be a terrifying experience. <laughs> I will pass. Creepy Mon? Uh, not as creepy as the last one, surprisingly. Uh, but I will pass. Gallant Mon? Pass. Going into the Royal Knights now. We're getting near the end, I think. Uh, Dynasmon is a pass. Duran Duran is a pass. Leopardmon is a pass. I don't know what LM stands for in this case. Light mode? Is it Leopardmon Leopard mode? Because that would be funny. But no, that's a pass. 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 Wait, actually, go back. You do be thick, though, but still pass. Wait, go back again? Vortex penetra- Vortex penetration. Vortex penetration. One of the Olympus 12. Its castle, Abyss Sanctuary, was built in deep underwater trench. It has a sentient speed. I think, given all of the lore here, and all of its abilities, I will say Smash. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Uh, pass. Still Giga Chad, but I will pass. Barbamon is a pass. Pandemonium lost. This is the chattest of all Digimon. That is, like, at least of the mask presenting Digimon. That might be the most smashable. I will smash. Piedmon. I know people who would be into Piedmon. I myself am not one of those people. But, hey, if you're into Piedmon, that's cool. I will pass. Puppetmon. I will pass. Platinum Numemon, I will smash for, again, like Alphamon in-game reasons. This isn't a spoiler. This is just, like, late-game 
grinding, if you want to get like a bunch of Digimon up to max level, um, what you do is you first max out the levels of three Platinum Numemon and put them all at the front of your party um, so they can't gain any experience. And then you just fight a bunch of really high level Digimon with the, the Platinum Numemon and specifically with them like they they have an ability that increases the amount of exp that you earn and they like that can stack um that ability stacks so if you have you know three at the front of your party and they're dishing out all the attacks while you have a bunch of weaklings uh, on your team um then your digimon get mad strong um and a digimon that has a long tongue and it has bling, yeah, a long tongue, bling, and grinding at it makes you way stronger. Um, yeah, I will smash. Um, I will smash its platinum junk. Black, Black War Greymon is arguably a big, an even bigger flex than regular War Greymon because it's like... It was the cool, edgy, like, um, like anti-hero Digimon in Adventure Zero Two. So I will smash. Now, this is one that I could try smashing for clout, uh, but it is just a, a giant yellow gumball, and also I'm already smashing King Edamon, and this guy's just a prince. Um, so, whoop, easy there, Terriermon. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I will pass. Rectormon is an absurd design, I will pass. Plesiomon, eh, pass. Yeah, pass. None of the beetle ones are, are ones that I want anywhere near my junk. Beelzemon, uh, it's got that double impact attack. This is also the favorite Digimon of a uh, Drawfee cast member, Karina. Um, she simps for this Digimon super hard. And for her sake, I will smash. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for her. I'll do the same thing with Beelzemon. I think Blast Mode is what BM stands for in this case. Um, it has Corona Destroyer, even better than Corona Blaster. Um, that, yeah, the world can really use that right now. Thank you for your service, Beelzemon Blast Mode. I'm not fucking the Kirby boss. Um, I'm not fucking Ho-Oh from Pokemon. I'm not fucking uh, Gatomon's mega form. Like, Gatomon had such a good thing going for it. It had, like, you know, it by itself is, like, sassy and fun, and then it becomes uh, Angel Woman, and as an alternate mega, which I already went over, or Ophanimon, uh, which is fuckable. But then it turns into this weird shrimp cat dragon thing, and it, it loses all steam for me. Um, oh, a beta type Android Digimon? Okay, yeah, no, that's a pass. That's a pass. That's a pass. That's a definite smash. Definite smash. Oh. Right, <laughs> couldn't see it for a minute. Yeah, it'd be funny, but no, I'm going to pass. Minervamon. I feel like I should find a better image for Minervamon, uh, cause, like, also important to note is like that thing up top is a helmet. That's not its face. Um, Minerva. Oh no, Terriamon, Terriamon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like. 
yeah, like... Minervamon is super hot. It's just not necessarily super obvious in the game. Uh, but, yeah. She's a smash. Raj Galgamon is a pass. Raj Galgamon burst mode is very cool. I like this whole electric whip thing it's got going on. Uh, but that's still a pass. Machine Dramon, pass. Nagidramon. Very scary. Pass. Metal Edamon. Definitely has the chat energy, but pass. Metal Garurumon's a pass. Metal Garurumon Black is also a pass. Metal Seedramon is a pass. Getting close. Only 44 left. Garukimon ha is a chad, but he's also a pass. Uh, Rust Tyranimon. Very cool. Also a pass. Leviamon. What that mouth do? Uh, pass. But like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> uh, oh, it's got a Metal Gear Solid reference in its thing. Uh, yeah, how how could I say no? This is an obvious smash. And for what it's worth. Rayfon's pretty smashable, too. I'll smash. Burst mode's even more so. I love the, the purple wings. Looks super good. I will smash. Crusader Mon? Hell yeah, let's smash. Give me the Fist of Athena, baby. Uh, Rose Mon. Maybe the most smashable Digimon out of any of these. I will smash. And then... Burst mode. Make me want to burst if you get what I mean. Uh, I am going to smash. Lotus Mon is slightly worse Rose Mon. But slightly worse Rose Mon is still pretty fucking good. I am going to smash. Armageddon Mon. I like its sinister energy. It's not one that I would want to put my penis in, though. I will pass. What the fuck is this? I will pass. This thing's very cool. Um, and I it's still related to Alphamon and, by extension, um, the spoiler from Cyber Sleuth. Um, so... I guess Smash. Um, no, that's a, that's a pass. That's also a pass. Yeah, like, if I'm going to Smash... Oh, damn, okay. You, you, you gotta be careful, bud. If I'm going to Smash War Greymon for Clout, I kind of also have to Smash Omnimon for Clout because War Greymon is one of the Opponents of Omnimon, um, and like Omnimon is like the leader of the Royal Knights, and like it's um, like they keep pulling it out. Like that's that's the thing that Namco and Bandai like keeps um, shoving in our faces as far as like oh you know do you care about this Digimon property now? We put Omnimon in it. Look, I, you know. So, yeah. Actually, Omnimon might be an even better Charizard comparison than uh, War Greymon, uh, especially in recent years, just because of how they plaster him everywhere. So, yeah, I think I have to smash for, for Cloud. And then, but Omnimon's wart, I don't think you can say that for. Because, well, yes, Black War Greymon is a component of it, like, Omniwan's wart, to my knowledge, has never had, like, a major role in any of the anime or the games or anything, um, and so it's not as much of a clout pull, um, so I will pass. Chaosmon, I don't know what's going on there. I guess it has Bancho Leomon as one of its components, but also, I didn't smash Boncho Leomon for Cloud. I smashed Boncho Leomon because Boncho Leomon. Um, and if 
you just have Bacho Leoman's head on your hand, but not that body, that the appeal is not there for me anymore. I will pass. Chaos Mon, voice actor. Uh, the wings are a nice touch. I will pass, though. Now, Susano Mon I will pass on for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, it looks like a Mega's XLR robot, which means it looks cool, but also, like, doesn't really look much like a Digimon at that point. Um, but also because Susano Mon should not be in this game. Um, the way that you get Susano Mon in the, like, Digimon anime is you have to have all of the spirits, all of the elemental spirits, um, and there are only two elemental spirits obtainable in Digimon Cyrus Sleuth and Hacker's Memory, and that's the spirit of fire and the spirit of light. None of the other ones are there. None of their evolution lines are there. So, yeah, Susano Mon, I, I have a bone to pick with you, and I am not going to smash you. Um, Gallantmon Crimson Mode is cool, but I won't smash. I'll pass. Um, I will also pass on Belphamon. I will also pass on this form of uh, Lusamon. Uh, it had such a good thing going for it with... Jesus. Jesus, Terriermon, I can't take you anywhere. Um, it had such a good thing going for it with um, its fall-down mode, and then just turned into a big weird dragon. Uh, so pass. Flamedramon is cool, but... Flaming Fist, but I'll pass. Magnamon, also cool, but pass. Rapidmon, hey, it's another one of yours. Um, especially, you know, this is the form you get when you touch the Digi Egg of Miracles. Uh, but I will pass. Shoutmon's cool and wants to be king of the digital world. That's really cool. It can combine with a bunch of different Digimon. Um, and there could be some fun to be had with that. But I'm going to pass. Omni Shoutmon is the same thing, but bigger and more powerful. I'm going to pass. Ryudamon is a pass. G -g whatever this is is a pass. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these. This is a pass. Legendary Dragon Blade. This one's a pass. Um, this could be considered like a, a clout chasey one if I want it to be, but like, what do I even do with all this? Um, also, like, he's like the ultimate evil of the Digimon digital world, and like, you know, usually you fight Apocalymon when the rest of the digital world is destroyed, and like. It doesn't seem like a lot of Digimon are aware that he exists. He has a very sad and miserable life. Maybe I'd give him a pity smash, but no, I'm I'm gonna pass. Um, this is Lolly Bait. I'm not gonna take the bait. I'm gonna pass. And this is the awake mode. She looks a little taller here, a little more grown up. Uh, still rookie level and. I'm, I'm not going to take the bait here. I'm going to pass. I'm not going to pass on this, though. Oh, boy. I enjoy Sister Monciel. I'm going to smash. And then once she gets awakened, brings out the guns, puts the hood down, brings out the titties. Uh, yeah. That is, uh, that is a smash. And you might be surprised to hear that this is not a smash for me, because this is, like, its own, like, it's based off of, like, little toys of the Digimon characters. Um, canonically, I don't think that regular Alphamon, or at least the, the regular Alphamon that's in Cyber Sleuth can transform from or into this. Um, so I'm going to say pass. And then I smashed her big form. And honestly, it's kind of hotter that she's, like, tiny now. You have the whole, like, I don't know, like, sprite from um, the the old Zelda 90s cartoon uh, energy to her. Or, like, the whole Tinkerbell thing. Like, yeah, 
Smash, Smash, and then Leopard Mon NX is cool, but I'll pass. And I will pass Omni Mon NX because again, it's like the tiny version of it. You don't get the clout from it. Um, Gallant Mon NX is also a pass. And so with that, I am done. Um, but if there are any other franchises that you want to see me um, smash or pass on, or if you want me to do a smash or pass on any other Digimon, I can figure out a way to make that work. Um, just let me know. I would be excited to hear from all of you. All right, this is BDDB Comics signing off.